giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today is the Executive Director of the African American Museum of Iowa. We've got Lanisha Cassell. Lanisha, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Well, we've got to look back on summer. You've had some really unique partnerships yeah, and we been have. very busy. Talk to us about how that's gone. Sure. There's been lots of different programming opportunities that we've had at the museum. And we've partnered with organizations like the Czech Museum for some um, protest art and uh, programming with. Um, at youth, uh, at risk youth, um, and we've done programs with the YMCA that bring fitness and nutrition into um, more awareness for the community. So lots of things like that that's been going on all summer long, and so we are excited to have uh, concluded the summer with those really fun programs. And let's look forward. We've got to talk about the brand new exhibit you have coming. Yes. Tell us about that. Absolutely. So um, the exhibit opens, it will open in September, or opens in September, and it focuses on uh, African American hair um, and ideas of beauty and image. It's called Untangled the roots, the culture of black hair. It'll go through summer of 2020. And so we're really excited to bring in members of the community who have been helping us put together the exhibit for um, just authenticity. There's a lot of things that will be, um, I think, new information for people. Some, uh, some really great hidden treasures that we've been able to uncover, so we're excited about it. Tell us a little bit, of, uh, walk us through the exhibit, sure. if you will. Well, we're still, we're, we are, by the time, when it opens, we'll have um, uh, kind of taken us on a journey from um, African roots to the present uh, day, um, and, it, and there's a lot of protest involved in it, and just um, um, pride. So there's um, the idea of what is beautiful, um, um, how do we conform? You know, African American, particularly women, and the hair has been always been an issue or a concern. Um, when you think about the 60s and you think about right now, there's been this, this, this very commonality uh, in terms of like, what does it mean to um, be beautiful? Um, and how do we identify um, ourselves based on what our hair might look like or who, how it's perceived? And what goes into creating an, uh, an exhibit like that? Well, you know, it's exciting because we come together as a team to talk about different ideas, things we've been wanting to do, what the community might want to see. And so we've been trying to in engage the community a little bit more in what they want to see. Um, this has been on the back burner for a while. And um, we come together as a team from everything from the content to the title of the exhibit. We have an advisory committee that comes together of professors and community people um, and maybe experts in the field that we're pursuing. So, for instance, we've had hair professionals on the committee to help us um, bring that authenticity uh, to, the, to the exhibit. You said opening in September mm -hmm. and then through next summer. Tell us a little bit about when and where people could go and see this new exhibit. Sure. So the exhibit is on site, obviously, at the museum. They can learn more about it at blackiowa.org um, and uh, all over social media. We've been really um, promoting the exhibit and the programming that will be um, associated with that. Let's move forward. You've got yeah. a big fundraiser, a big event coming yeah. up. Tell us about that. Yeah, the History Makers Gala is on October 11th. I'm sorry, it's on October 3rd <laughs> at the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, and we'll be honoring uh, four statewide leaders um, for the impact they've had in their communities. Um, Lori Amby, uh, Marie Christian, uh, Dr. Reynard Kington, and uh, Bridget Saffold will be recognized, and they represent different components or different uh, areas of the, of the state. And also, we'll be giving a Lifetime Achievement Award to Dr. Simon Estes, who's a renowned uh, uh, opera singer. And tell us about that event, when, and mm -hmm. then how someone could get some tickets. Sure. So it's October 3rd at the hotel at Kirkwood Center uh, from 530 to 8 p.m. And you can get uh, tickets and learn more about it at blackiowa.org. And again, let's talk a little bit about the importance of, sure. of this gala and, and this event. Yeah, so it's our only fundraiser. And so we are um, uh, hoping to not only honor these um, statewide leaders, but also to bring more recognition and visibility to what we do in terms of our mission to preserve, exhibit, and teach Iowa's African American history. And so it's a, a great way for us to highlight their achievements and also promote what we do. Back to school time. Obviously, mm -hmm. you do a yes. lot of great things with mm -hmm. teachers and educators here in the community. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. Sure. We work really hard to um, to fill in the gaps for with the traditional education system. So we work with teachers. We work with administrators to be able to provide the appropriate curriculum um, at the museum for our programming. So that all that goes into the planning of the exhibit and the programs that we do related to that. And so a lot of unique partnerships coming down the pike for this year. And um, looking forward to hosting lots of children into our exhibit and our programs. And again, if someone hasn't been, mm -hmm. where can they find you? BlackIowa.org. Wonderful. Always a pleasure, Lanisha. Thank, Thank you. you. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources, exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.